My name is Renee Archuleta and we're here at the Rig Exchange in Alamosa, Colorado. Okay. So I was in Monta Vista. I was down on my luck. I decided that I wanted to take my own life. Um, I was in a house where um, this man had let us stay there. Like he took care of a lot of people that were homeless. And um, we were all staying there and like I had really no reason too, it's just I didn't have my family, you know, and I thought pretty much everybody had gave up on me and, you know, still fighting that life. So I decided I was done. The drugs weren't doing it anymore, you know, wasn't numbing my pain. I, I decided to go in the bathroom before I had walked there. I, a girl was sitting there and I was like, I looked at her and I said, well, make sure you have the Narcan, not, you know, just being evil with myself. And so I walk into the bathroom and I had a lot of dope on me and um, if it wouldn't have been for that girl like coming in and actually checking on me I guess she said she peeked underneath the door um, they broke the door down um, my friend he took you know because he was slapping me and everything and then um, he said that it took five Narcans to bring me back and I didn't know that I thought you could only use two but um Thank God for that, you know, because I'm still fighting today and still living. So it was five Narcans after that, and then I was sick as hell. I'm not gonna lie, I was so sick. I was, then I was mad because, you know, can't get high after that for like two or three hours, you know? So, but I was thankful because when I looked around, like people were crying and like people I didn't even think liked me, you know? And just when you have that kind of feeling, you know, it's kind of something to keep going. Because these marks is not, you know, it doesn't define who I am. They're, you know, I'm a good person. Sometimes I make bad decisions, you know, who does it? You know, like going and boosting or like stupid things, you know? But that doesn't define the person I am. You know, I, I'm an addict, I'm a fighting addict because I will fight. And I wish people would understand that, you know, instead of just judging someone right away, like, oh, they used drugs. 